Packaging up orders, man. <laughs> People buy these things like crazy. Someone a few weeks ago asked me about a do-it-yourself kit. But how do you make them? I sell a do-it-yourself kit and you can actually make these yourself. First of all, if you don't know, my floats are, are made of a hardwood dowel, 18 inches long. Right, that's the balance point there. And it makes it very, very sensitive. Most people look at how long it is, and it, for some people it's a little off-putting. They just don't understand it, just don't get it. All right, look at, if, it, if the float were only this tall, you would hardly see it move if a fish was messing with it. But the longer the float, any little movement gets projected, much more exaggerated up here. People just don't get it. I mean, it's about the sensitivity. It's not about how it looks or what fits inside my brain. It's about does it work or not and it works that's why people keep buying these from me you'll get 24 of these the dowels those are 3 16 dowels hardwood birch you're gonna get 24 of these these little stem swivels okay. these are one of the things that I import you'll get 24 of these uh, wine corks that's what comes with the kit and from there what you'll need to supply is uh, you need a pencil you'll need some thread uh, whatever kind of sewing thread you have around the house will do just fine. You need some scissors. I use uh, quilting snips, thread snips. I'm going to need some uh, tape. Just good old masking tape, cheap stuff. Okay, so first thing, drill out all your holes to, you know, I forget the actual size I use. 3 16 dowel, you want to go like a 32nd of an inch or something greater. So that's like 7 30 seconds. I can't, it's not 7 30 seconds, it's whatever. You'll find that different corks slide on and off differently. Now that's cork. You see it's pretty slippery. This is a one-in-one -one, what they call and it's a little bit stiffer as you can see so it just depends. You want to find the balance point. I generally just measure out as 18 inches long. I put the center of this directly on nine inches and it just works out. Uh, there we go. Something like that. You're going to mark that with a pencil. After that you're going to take your tape. Building up an arbor to take up the gap, that 32nd inch gap or whatever. From here you could put wood glue on this. I don't do that anymore. I just let it friction fit. See? See how that's on there? Friction fit. And we'll varnish it later and the varnish will just coat everything and make it hard and solid and it won't move. Here's the part here. You're going to take one of my stem swivels. There's a swivel on the end of that stem. So it's an eyelet and a swivel all in one. And we're going to put that sucker on here. Hold it there with your finger and your forethumb. And you can either leave it straight or you can bend it slightly just to get the center of the swivel in line with the center of the axis of the... Now I have a fly tying bobbin. You can buy one of these at Bass Pro Shops or Academy if they're... But you don't have to. You can just take this thread here and thread it and get two heavy books and thread it through and you can hand wrap it but uh, the bobbin is a lot simpler. So take your end, end part of your thread, the tag end, put it between your thumb and forefinger, and then simply start wrapping it forward till, you know, about the last five millimeters or so. And then you're gonna start wrapping it back down, touching turns, about 10, 20, 30 wraps, right? And then we're gonna start this thing where we kinda have to bunch it all together as you can see, the thread is just locked in there. It's not going anywhere. You can twist it like so and just wrap it very loosely all the way up to the top. I'd be doggone if I forgot my... I have a white piece of Dacron that I usually do this part with. Take that here. You're going to stick it under. It's almost impossible to see what I'm doing. And I, I, I generally kind of hate videoing this kind of thing because it's so much faster when I just don't have to try to explain it. And Okay, and the tag in here. We'll go through this loop, pulls that back through, and again it locks it in, it locks the thread in just like you had it up here. And now my friends, you actually have a float. <laughs> now how do you paint it? I have a paint gun, an actual gun, air gun, put a white base on it and then uh, let that dry and then put a whatever your favorite color is, high vis, whatever. Now, the, once you've painted it, I'm not going to demonstrate that. I've had other videos on how to paint it, and I may try to put them up somewhere. 
you want to varnish it and I already have a video on how to varnish it up so you can watch those two I would either you need a spar varnish it's a varnish that has some that has UV protectants in it now, there's two types there's the urethane acrylic base and then there's the oil based you can just hang this up on a hook like that you can just let these things just dry and they'll just it'll bind these it'll bind the threads to the wire and the wood and it'll hold it in place and you want to put about four coats of varnish if you're just going to go with varnish. What I do in all my floats is I use boat builders epoxy and I and I incorporate I saturate this whole thing in boat builders epoxy. Right? The same type of like you hear me talking about wanting to have a wooden boat, I'd be using epoxy to uh waterproof the wood and what that epoxy will do is it will saturate into the little holes here in the cork and it'll saturate into the grains of the wood and then it'll harden and turn this entire thing into a single solid unit and it'll waterproof it and then you put your varnish on top of that and that's how I sell it but many of you are not going to have boat builders epoxy to do all that with so it's just you can just use the varnish and it'll be fine uh, if you're going to paint it go ahead and paint the bare wood first then put your varnish on top of that and my friends that is how you make one of these floats. I have these for sale. You can either buy them in kit form. I have shorter versions, you know, for those of you where this is just too radical for you. <laughs> I have them in shorter versions, but this is the most sensitive for a reason. And um, if you're interested, check it out. It's on the website. I'll put the links in, all that kind of thing. Um, I will see you later. We got a cane pole ready. We'll try to do some brim fishing next week. And uh, I'll see you guys later.